getting a real good signal right here. All right, about six inches deep or 28. So let's see what this is going to be. We'll live dig it, see what we come up with. I'm right on an old side lot where there's a old driveway right here. I can hear it, some of the pavement. All right, let's see what we got here. A lot of gravel. Yeah, surely that's not what I was digging, just a memorial penny. Surely there's something else in here. Nope, that's all it was. Got fooled by the stinking Lincoln. I just got a 2829 right here. And uh, I haven't been doing live digs because there have been quarters and dimes and everything else. But this had that good silver tone. And there it is. I do see it. It's right there in the hole. See it? Check that out. It's gonna be a little silver rosy. I'll take a silver rosy. What year is that gonna be? I can't read it with my eyes. Maybe y'all can see it. 1951. All right, let's set her up there. Let's get a picture and see if there's any more in this side lot. Well, I just found me a great little find right here at the beginning. Uh, I have this vacant lot I'm doing and uh, this uh, side, this yard that I'm doing. I'm just here locally in my own town and uh, just popped up a 2829 thinking it's going to be another clad quarter because that's what I've been digging in this lot, just clad quarters. And check this out. That's going to be a standing liberty. A standing liberty. I'll take that any day. Let me get there where y'all can see that. Well, maybe I'll put it back down here. Get the sun out of the way. Looks like it's going to be a 19, a common date, 1927. I've dug a lot of 27s, 17s, uh, but 27 seems to be the common date on these things. All right, I'll take that and we'll just keep on rolling. Maybe they're going to get some more older coins out of this lot. It used to be an old school house, you hear, many, many years ago in the early 1900s. I'm going to show you this. It's jumping around, 27. It's about 8 inches deep. But it's got that high tone in it. I don't know. It's jumping around a lot. Y'all want to dig it and see what it is? All right, let's get our mark there. Let's see. Let's just dig kind of wide. It's jumping around. There's a lot of trash in this lot. I'm back over here by that driveway where the old driveway used to be underneath the grass here. Maybe, let's see. It's good dirt. Coins are coming out good. It was showing to be over there. Probably going to be another bottle cap. I've dug bottle caps out of here already. That's why it's jumping around right there. That's why I haven't been live digging. This is what you get when you live dig. Well, if you're going to find a Standing Liberty, you're going to find a barber out here too, right? And that's what I just found. I was just it found it. It didn't, wasn't that deep, maybe about three inches. And I just popped it up. Check this out. And looked around the edge. You see it right there. Right there. And it's got an edge like a barber. Let's see. It's going to be a barber dime. It's going to be in good shape. Let's see. 19. Clean it up really good. Can you read that? 1899. This location, 
1898. Its location dates to about, uh, oh, I would say in the 20s, um, when the old schoolhouse used to be here. It was really not a schoolhouse. It was where the student teachers that taught would come and they would stay here. Uh, but the property dates back to uh, early, early 1900s. So this would fall in line with that. All right, let's go. keep going. Maybe we'll find something else. Just finding a lot of change, though, modern change and trash and uh, stuff like that. But getting these in between. 27 to a 31. About four inches deep. Let's see what we're going to get here. It didn't sound very deep at all. It's right here where that driveway was, so it's not going to go too much deeper. That's really shallow. Look at that. Right there. Is that going? What is it going to be? Ah, it's going to be another rosy. I'll take a Rosie. Yeah, 1957 Rosie. They're coming out pretty. All right, I got to get going to that other house. All right, we are on the road. Uh, just in my hometown today. I uh, got permission. There's a guy in my hometown that flips houses. So he buys these old houses, flips them around, and uh, fixes them up. And every time he does that, I see a sign out in the yard, and I'll call him up. And I ask him, can I hunt that yard? And uh, usually he gets houses that's in the 30s, 40s, 50s. And uh, this house I think that I'm going to today is a 1951 or 50, mid 50s, somewhere around there. So we're definitely in the rosy area of uh, Targets and um, in Washington Quarters. But you never know what can be in a yard. Uh, there could be rings in a yard. There could be uh, tokens in a yard. There's just no telling what's all in these yards. And so um, it's a pretty good sized front yard and it's not just maybe a half a mile from my house. I'm almost there. I've got this property and then I have a, um, a, a little vacant lot. And uh, the vacant lot used to have a post office on it. It used to have a, a, not a school house, but it used to have a, um, a student teacher's housing is what it was. And so the old driveways underneath the gravel and, uh, and stuff and so never know what you're going to find there either and so here we are we're pulling up and uh, so hopefully I'll, when I get parked here I'll show you the house and uh, see what we can come up with maybe we can find us a, a, a silver or two and so let's get over here out of the way because they're still working on it and let's get to swinging there's a house here's the house right here got some big trees out front so we're gonna mainly hit this. They're working in the backyard, so let's start swinging. Well, that house didn't have a whole lot in it. I spent about 30 minutes here, dug up some uh, modern money. I did get one wheat penny out of the deal, thinking wheat penny I might get a bar. I mean, uh, get get some silver here, rosy or or maybe a mercury. But uh, I'm better off going back over to that vacant lot and spending more time over there, and I probably will. If I don't, I'll hold on to it because it's in my hometown. So. Uh, I'm the only one that's got permission to be on it anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm headed out tomorrow. I'm uh, going up to Arkansas, then on up to Missouri. Going to meet up with Unearth Arkansas tomorrow, and we're going to do a hunt for half a day. Then meet up with Plugmaster Ford. We're going to be playing a disc golf tournament and then doing some metal detecting later on uh, next week. And so, uh, until then, I will see you in Arkansas. And just like that, I'm in Arkansas. And you guess who I'm with? I'm with Craig, Mr. Unearth Arkansas. Make sure y'all check him out. We are braving this frigid 28 degree with wind chills right here, probably to zero. Probably feels like zero. My hands are, are cold. But we're back out here where we found the big silvers. Y'all make sure y'all check out that video uh, that we did a couple of months ago. I found a silver uh, piece dollar and Craig found a uh, half dollar walker. And so maybe there's something else out here that we miss. So we're gonna check it out. And when we do, we find something, we'll put the camera on it and we'll show it to you. So let's get to swinging. How about it? Sounds good. Well, I dug a penny, I dug a piece of trash and here's my third target. And I got a little heart neck. Let's check this out. It says Stephanie on it. That's if anything on the back. It's not precious or anything. Nope, just says Stephanie on both sides. 
All right, let's get these gloves back on. Let's get a picture and keep going. Oh, I was digging a, a real iffy signal. You ever seen one of these? It's in the shape of a heart, but you unscrew this, and it uh, this this unscrews off. Never seen one of those. Don't know what that is. If you know what that is, comment in the section below. You see right here, this part right here screws off. It looks like a light socket. That's so weird. If I could do it with one hand, I'd show you. But I can't. Well, still out here at this school ground. Uh, just kind of going back over those areas that uh, we found those big silvers. And still finding a few things. I uh, found a pocket watch back here, right here. Let me show you this. Check that out. It's getting a 29 to a 32. Thought I had be another big silver. Still got a little gold gilt on it. There's the hinge. Right there. So, a pocket watch fun. All right, we'll add that to the collection and keep on rolling. <laughs> Just like that, I'm up in Kansas. Are we in Kansas or Missouri? We're in Missouri right now, but we're right on the Kansas-Missouri line. I'm up here today digging with Missouri Mike. Missouri Mike, turn around there and say hello. There we go. Got Missouri Mike with me today. This is his first time out in a long time. He's been that, he's been sick quite a bit, and so we uh, swung through Springfield and picked him up. And uh, we got this, what did he say, it was 1840 house? Yeah. A pre-Civil War house. We got the plug master back here. Let me go back here and show you. Jeff, you want to say hello, Jeff, right quick? He's trying to pair up his headphones. He can't hear anything. <laughs> and so we're going to get out here on this yard and see what we find. It's a pre-Civil War home, 1840s. And so it's our first uh, really attempt at door knocking. And so hopefully we're gonna find something. So let's get to swinging. Well, I got my first signal over here. It's just gonna be a little buckle. Let me show you, it's a little buckle. It's just a little buckle. That's all it is. Let me show you what I got. I got Mikey over here, Jeff's over there, right about there. And here's a little buckle I found. I don't know, it may date period. Looks kind of old. It's an 18, no, it's a 20 on the Equinox at about uh, six inches deep. All right, good start. Let's keep on rolling. I moved on over here to the front of the yard and uh, got a eight, uh, 14, 13, sound like a nickel. I started digging it up. It's uh, kind of it's a relic, but I don't know what it is yet. There it is, right there. Really not certain, but I know it's an old relic. I've seen these before. I have to ask Plugmaster Missouri Mike if they know what that is. Really not certain, but out here in the front, Plugmaster's got something. Let's go see what he's got. For mine, baby. No machine weight yeah. needed. Hey guys, that's a first <laughs> on mine on top of the ground. What'd you get? Uh, I got I some type of relic. Oh, yeah. I don't Thank know what that is. Is that yeah. what that is? Yeah. That's no, why I was coming over here to ask you. A garter clip for a big girl. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? A weedy? I got a weedy. And Mikey got a weedy. I got on top of the ground mine. And I don't have anything yet. I don't yeah. have no coins. I got to take it. Maybe we're into something here. Maybe it's the center got, yard. I don't good. need the we'll machine. See. You got to take your time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap it up at this house. Uh, we didn't find any good coins at all. Some modern change. Found that little garter clip and that little brass buckle. And some casings, and that's all I've gotten. Uh, nothing else uh, really old. I think this yard's been dug, or it's been pushed up some dirt on top of it. I'm really not certain, but Jeff and Mikey's up here, and they're ready to head on so 
we're gonna move on to the next hole so i'll see you there all right we moved on to this 1884 house check this out i got ranger with me yeah he's my buddy he's a big old dog he's big as a wolf yeah but he's friendly so uh wind's gonna be kind of bad wind's picking up jeff's over there mikey's behind me and we have got this real nice old house big front yard let's get at it jeff Mikey's done struck it. First shot. First What's shot. he got? Is that an Indian? It is. Got him an Indian hit penny. Got one cent on the back. Check that out. You haven't even been here. Damn, that's my first dig here. First dig. First man. dig. All right. Congratulations. Wow. Well, that's a good you. sign. Let's keep at it. Yeah. Well, I hope you can hear me. The wind is really really blowing i'm gonna try to get in here tight it's fronts coming through and blowing really hard still out here at this old house came over here where mikey was hunting we're kind of switching off on a rice property uh, uh, positions in the yard and got a 1819 and uh got a nice indian head penny so let me turn you around i'm gonna pick it up and bring it in close to me maybe y'all can see that 1901 one cent right there this wind is really blowing hard and I didn't wear my wireless mic. So hopefully you can hear me. All right, let's get a picture and keep on swinging. The sun's getting low. So let's keep on going. Give me a baby. Big old husky. Hey buddy. Hey. Well, Mikey, what'd you get? Uh, four Indians. Four Indians? All right here on the side? No. No? I, I missed some? Over there. Yeah. One of them, and then one of them was up there, and then two over here. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us today. Mikey got four Indians. I got one Indian, and Jeff got uh, All some... All fancy Indians don't do nothing. <laughs> I'm weedy. He's weedy king. That's right. He's weedy king. So he won. I got no weedies. But the weedy man over there, he's still weedy king. All right, we're loading up. I'll do the wrap up when we get back to Texas. See you there. Well, I just got back from uh, my trip. Made a trip up to Arkansas, then on up to lose, uh, uh, Missouri. Got to hunt with Unearthed Arkansas and uh, Plugmaster Ford and Missouri Mike. Had a good time. Didn't find a lot like I wanted to, but sometimes it's not about the finds. It's just about the friendships and having a good time. So I just got back and uh, I got everything laid out. Let me show you what I found. All right, here's all my trash. This is from my local dig, my dig in Arkansas and also my dig in Missouri. Lots of house trash and that's what I was digging, these old houses. But here are the finds. Found a toy car. I found five, 10, 15, 16 pennies, five dimes and six quarters. I got a uh, brass pocket watch back. Got a buckle and a garter clip, a garter thing. I think that's what that is. Maybe it's a big one. I'm not sure up on that. I uh, found this. This was a, uh, a water bottle, uh, part of the top of a water bottle. This would have been down in there. I put, I put a picture in the video earlier. You saw that, but that's kind of a neat find, a good little relic. I got four wheat pennies. I don't even know the dates of them. And then got a good old Indian head. Get found that up there in Missouri. And then I found a 51, 57, and a 1898 Barber uh, dime. And then also a 27, found lots of these here lately. 27, Standing Liberty. So, got some silver, got an Indian, got some Wheaties, got some relics. Oh, one piece of jewelry I left, uh, missed out. A little necklace, it's not precious, just says Stephanie on both sides and a little bit of money and stuff so not a whole lot but uh had a good time digging it all i still got a vacant lot i can go back and still find some stuff where this was found and i haven't done it yet but anyway there's all the trash 
and there's all the treasure. And like I say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go to Arkansas and up to Missouri and find. It, the greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.